Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm super, super excited that it's Monday night drive, y'all. As you know, we bring the value, we bring the heat every single Monday night to help you guys really elevate to the next level in your mindset, in your skill sets, and literally all aspects so that you can just develop as a human being. And that's really what this call is about. Um, th this call is about timing and preparation. See, I was having a conversation with Paul Abulu last week, and, and it was crazy the way the conversation headed. Sometimes, you know, you'll just be talking to somebody and talking about getting to the next level in your business, next business in your ne next level in your life. And, um, you know, all of a sudden it just, just like clicks, it clicks in your brain, like, okay, that's why. And, and me and Paul had that epiphany. I said something and me and Paul were like, bro, what? Like that? Are you serious? We just figured that out. And so I wanted to do a call on it. I wanted to do a call about what me and Paul talked about. And it's because I think it's something very important that everybody needs to understand. And if, if you want to win at a high level, okay. And so, you know, timing and preparation are everything in this business. All right. You got to be like, a lot of people don't realize when it comes to success, it, it is a teeny bit of luck. You have to be in the right time at the right, right place, right time. You really do. But the way you put your, yourself in the right place at the right time is by being prepared for it. And so that's why this call is about time and preparation. See, a lot of you may not understand this, but this company that y'all are, are a part of, the company that you guys are a part of right now, this company, I Am Ashley Academy, is going to be a billion dollar company in the next you know, six to nine months. And you're a part of a company that's actually going to be a 10 to $20 billion company. And you're a part of it when it's a $400 million company. Think about that. Think about how crazy that is. Think about how much growth there is left in this company. I mean, you're, you're seeing Apple in the 90s. You're literally seeing Apple in the 90s. Realize what you guys are a part of and take advantage of it. And the way you take advantage of it is by understanding the preparation that needs to be done. And let me just go back to what me and Paul were talking about so you understand why the preparation is important, okay? See, me and Paul were talking and he asked me a really good question that I actually, I normally never get stumped as a leader. Like people ask me questions all day long and I know the answer to all of them. Every single question, I know the answer to every single one of them. And Paul asked me a really good question that made me think for about 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and it clicked in my brain, the answer for the first time ever. And when I said it, it clicked for Paul as well. And so hopefully, hopefully all of you guys have that same moment listening to what I'm saying. But, you know, he asked me, this is the question he asked me. He said, you know, AJ, why do, why do we write down our goals, right? I have my goal card right here. All right, it's written down. I have it clipped here for right now. Um, he said, you know, why do we write our goals down with a date if everything happens in God's time, right? Because we were, we were having a conversation about God, you know, and it was like one of those questions. I was like, bro, what? Like, all right. So if it's supposed to happen in God's timing, why do we write that date now? Right. Why do we write down? I am so happy and grateful now that I'm a chairman 10 before, you know, August 31st, 2021. Right? Why, why do we write the date down with the goal if it's going to happen in God's timing anyway? And it made me think for 20 seconds because I really, you know, 20, 30 seconds because I didn't really have the answer right away. <clears throat> and it finally came to me. And I, and I honestly don't even think the answer came from me. I think honestly, it was God speaking through me. And it was, I, I literally, the words came out of my mouth and me and Paul both were like, what? And here's what they were. I said, Paul, understand that God's timing for you, God's timing for you is not a date. God's timing for you is who you are internally. Let me say that again. God's timing is not a date. God's timing is who you are internally. Some of you maybe have caught what I just said and you're like, holy crap, this just blew my mind. 
And that's the that that's what happened to me and Paul. We had this conversation. We were like, dude, in order for so so we can say, I am so happy and grateful now that I'm a chairman 10, or I'm making six figures, or I have a six-figure trading account by August 31st, 2021, right? Whatever that goal is, we can write that down and affirm it by that date. But we have to understand that in order for God's timing to come to fruition, we have to get to a certain point internally before it happens. We can't be, God can't bless us with that goal. He can't give us more if we're not at the level where we deserve that blessing, right? Type, type some sevens in the chat if you guys, if that blows your guys' mind a little bit, because <laughs> it did for me. It really did. Let me, do I have the chat open? Okay, I do. I mean, that, it, it really did blow my mind when, when me and Paul were talking because it made me realize the growth that I had to do as a person. See, so many people, they write down a goal. They write down, some people don't even write down a goal at all, right? If you haven't wrote down your goal, you're already, you've already lost. Because if you don't have a target, you're not going to hit anything. So step one, you need to write your goal down with a date. But then most people, they write down that date and they're like, all right, let's kick back. Let me put my feet up on the table and wait for it to happen, right? That's what most people do. They don't put in the work. They don't realize that God's timing is who you are internally, meaning you have to grow yourself to here in order for that blessing to come into your life. So it's not, you know, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a chairman 10 by July 19th, 2021, it's I'm so happy and grateful now that I have become the person that deserves chairman 10 on July 19th, 2021, right? That is what this is all about, guys. That is how you get to a place where you're unstoppable here. And if you're unstoppable here, you're unstoppable in this business, guys. You're unstoppable in life. Nobody can bring you down because you know where you're going and you know where you need to get to internally in order to hit your goal. That's so important. I need you guys to understand this. I mean, write it down five times if you have to. God's timing. God's timing is not a date. God's timing is who you are internally. Understand that. That's so powerful. So many people write down their, their goal with a date, not realizing that if you want to hit that goal by that date, you need to grow to that person by that date. You need to be a, the, the level of a six-figure earner by that date, which means you, if, if you're not even close to that, you should be spending a lot of time working on you. How are your leadership skills? How are your communication skills? Right? How, how are, you know, your, how is your ability to, to inspire people? Right? There's, there's so many different levels of growth that you can experience in this life that people have to understand that you got to master in order to hit your goal. It's not just about the goal, right? It's not just about the goal. It's who you have to become in order to hit that goal. For me, it's not about the, the, the nice sports car that I have sitting in my garage downstairs right? It's not about the nice sports car. It's who I had to become in order to get that sports car. It's not about the nice vacations. It's who I had to become to get those vacations. It's not about the freedom. It's who I had to become in order to get that freedom. So I want you guys to understand that, yes, you can write down the goals. Yes, you can put in the work. You can do 10 presentations every single day. But guess what? If you don't work on you, nobody's going to follow you. I got a lot of people in this, in this business that think that they can do 10 presentations a day and it'll solve all your problems. Yes, understand you may get a few to sign up. Yes, you may grow your business. But at the end of the day, people are gonna have a hard time following you because you haven't worked on yourself enough. You haven't become the type of person that deserves that level. You, some of you have maybe been on the team for a while and you've heard me say this before, but in order for you to hit the next rank, you have to become that person that that amount of people want to follow, right? So platinum 1000, that's 30 customers. You have to be the type of person. You have to be on the personal development level of somebody that 30 people are willing to follow. Are 30 people willing to follow you and be led by you? If not, you got some growth to do.
Nothing wrong with that. When I started this business, I want you guys to understand something, all right? This business is like a football field, all right? And the goal is financial freedom. That's the end zone, okay? That's, that's right here, the end zone. And you got the football field, right? Well, some people start this business on the 10 yard line and they're able to punch that sucker in, right? They're at, these are very successful million dollar business owners that have high influence, already have networked with a lot of people, just come into this business, just A1, right? They're on the 10 yard line and all they have to do is punch it in. It's why you can't compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 27, right? Never do that. Never compare yourself to anybody else because every single one of you are coming into this business at a different point. You're on a different position on the football field. So it's unfair if you're on the 90, right? You're, you're 90 yards back. You're on the opposite 10 yard line and somebody else is on the other 10 yard line. You're comparing yourself to that person. That's not fair, right? You can't do that. The only thing that you can compare yourself to is who you were yesterday. So you started on the 90 yard, or, or the 10, the opposite 10 yard line today. <clears throat> Did you get to the 11 yard line to, you know, tomorrow? Are you going to get to the 12 yard line after that? Are you going to keep pushing the needle forward on your growth so that eventually you can punch that sucker into the end zone? So understand you all start at a different point and don't worry. Because if I can do this, so can you. See, some people start on that 10-yard line. Some people start at the 50-yard line. Some of you on this call are probably, you know, if you're on the 50-yard line or maybe the opposite 40, 60 yards away. You know, some people got a lot of work to do. You know, they're in the other end zone. And then there was me when I started this business. I was freaking three football fields away, right? Three football fields away, y'all. Nobody and their mama wanted to follow me. Nobody. Nobody. I mean, I was broke as could be. I was living in my car. I dropped out of college. I was, I was this washed out athlete because I won three national titles, got injured, had to retire. So, so none of my old teammates respected me. I mean, I had no influence with anybody, guys. I was three football fields away. And now look, over the last seven years, what have I done? Just every day, one yard further one yard further. And all of a sudden in January, punch that sucker into the end zone, hit P5,000. I've never had more freedom in my life. And it's because I just continually prepared myself every single day for growth. And so I want you guys to understand that <clears throat> in order for God's timing to kick in, you got to get to the level that he needs you to be at in order to achieve the goal that you're asking for, right? So work on you every single day. Here's how you prepare yourself. Here's how you prepare yourself for the goal that you're wanting to hit. What are you reading every single day, right? I've got, I think, four different books on my, actually I got five. I literally have five different books right in front of me. I have one, two, three, four, wait, four or five. I have five, five books, literally within an arm's length of me right now. I mean, that, that's how you win, guys. What are you, what are you reading? Emotional intelligence, 2.0. This is key. If you don't get control over your mind and your emotions, you're going to lose, promise you, right? Th this book right here, Think Like a Monk, is like, a, is like emotional intelligence on steroids. Really good book, right? Five levels of leadership. Like I said, how, how are you growing yourself as a leader? 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Really good book. Again, becoming a leader. If people want to follow you, you got to be a good leader. This is a really good one. I haven't read it yet. I've heard good, really good things about it. Winning by Tim Grover. Tim Grover was uh, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant's mental coach. So imagine a book from that guy, <laughs> what you're going to learn from, from that guy. So it's crazy, guys. There's so much information. There's so much information out in this world that, that you can plug into your mind. And if you don't know what to read, if you don't know what to go on YouTube and search and listen to, ask your leader. Ask your leader. I have, I have pounded personal development into all of my leaders, right? Paula Bulu, Alex Diaz, Matt Werner, 
Cassidy. All I mean, all these leaders. I may be missing one. Tony Johnson, John Adamick. John Adamick already had that down. Um, so so many leaders on this call have have just poured hours and hours and hours, books and books and books into their brain, and it's why they've gotten to P1000 and P2000. Because when they started this business, understand they were nowhere near the end zone either. And now they're inching their way closer and closer. And understand, if you stop, you, you, you're stuck right there. Like say you're at the 52 yard line, right? So, so you're, you're, you're at the 48, you're 48 yards from the end zone, okay? Say you're 48 yards from the end zone and you decide to stop reading. You decide to stop listening to audios. You decide to stop doing your gratitude. You decide to stop visualizing what you want. Guess what happens? You stay there. You, you stay there. If anything, if anything, the wind might blow you over. You might go backwards, right? So understand, guys, this, this is, I mean, I could, I could just say this over and over, and, and this would be a good enough call. And I know a lot of, a lot of you, a, an epiphany just happened because of what I said. God's timing, God's timing is not a date. God's timing is who you are internally. And the sooner you guys understand that, you can write down, you can write down your goal with a date, right? You can write down your goal with a date, but understand that means you need to become that person before that date. You need to become that person before that date if you want God to bless that goal into your life. So work on you. Ask what books. Ask what books you should be reading. Ask what audios you should be listening to. Ask questions. If you don't know how to do something, ask. I'll, I'll give you guys a tip. My seven years in this industry, I have weaseled my way into conversations with million dollar earners more times than you would ever believe. I mean, lunches that I had no business being at, conversations that I had no business being a part of. And somehow I just sneak my way in there, right? I would somehow, you know, get, get some of these leaders phone numbers and, and ask them questions and talk to them. And, and figure out what they know that I don't know. That's why it's so important to call somebody every single day. I posted this on my Instagram um, the other day. I, I posted on my story. I said, you guys really want to win in life. Do you really want to win in life? Because it takes this one thing right here. The, this one thing will solve all the other problems. Talk to somebody every single day that has the results that you want. That's it. Talk to somebody every single day that has the results that you want. You're in a bad mood? Talk to somebody who has the results you want. You're not feeling it today? Talk to somebody who has the results you want. You don't know what to do in your business? Talk to somebody who has the results that you want. It solves all problems, guys. I promise you. Something bad happened in your life? Talk to the person who has the results that you want. I promise you, every single time. It's why I call Million Dollar Earner. Joey Wilson, he makes $120,000 a month. I call him every single day. I just got off the phone with him uh, literally 20, 30, 40 minutes ago. He's down in Miami. And it, I, I just talk to him. I talk to him every day. It gets my mind recalibrated, dialed in. If I'm already dialed in, I'm even more dialed in when I, when I get off the phone with him. It's so important. You got to spend time around people that have what you want. That's key one. Key two, stop spending time with people who don't have what you want. This is going to be probably one of the hardest things for some of you to do. To cut ties. Some of you are like, oh, I've been friends with that person for so long. But they make you mad every single week. <laughs> right? You, 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 got a, uh, you, know, you got a family member that is just so negative every time you're around them. Oh, they're family. I got to, you know, I got to spend time with them. No, you don't. No, you don't. I have family members that I haven't seen in years because they got no business spending time with me. And it's not because I think I'm better than them. 
it's because I'm headed in a different trajectory than them. I want my life to go here. Their life is down here. If they want to come with, cool, they can come over here and follow what I'm doing. I'm not going over here and coming down to their level ever, ever. This is going to be probably one of the hardest things you guys have to do. Stop talking to, stop hanging out with people that don't have what you want. Stop going and, you know, going clubbing with people that are broke every single weekend. Stop having dollar beer night. I promise you guys, you give up the dollar beer nights and, and hanging out with your buddies for the next two years, we can go do yachts in Ibiza. How's that sound? How's that sound? I got a couple people clapping. I love it. I mean, that's, that's the real stuff right there. Just some people aren't willing to sacrifice. They're like, you know what? I'd rather have a cold one and watch the game tonight. I'm like, cool, bro, respect. But I got, I'm going a different way. I'm going a different way. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm a huge sports fan. I'm a huge Milwaukee Bucks fan. Guess how many Milwaukee Bucks games I've watched this year? Goose egg. Sure, I'll, ca I'll, ca I'll watch the two-minute highlights, see how the game went. But how does that help me? How does spending three hours watching somebody else achieve their dreams help me achieve mine? Right? That doesn't make me any money. Guess what? If I give up watching the Bucks for the next two years, I can go sit courtside for an entire season. Like, what are we talking about here? This is the preparation I'm talking about, guys. The preparation happens here. Before you actually go crush this business, and I don't mean don't put in the work, right? You got to be putting in the work every day because that's what's also going to grow you. These books are going to grow you. The audios are going to grow you. The conversations with your leader is going to grow you. But understand, the trench work is just as important. Because you doing presentations is going to get you better at the presentation. You talking to prospects is going to get you better at talking to prospects and better communication skills, right? You being on these calls, you helping people get started, you leading a team, it all is growing you. Sure, you may mess up. You're going to learn from that. You're going to mess up a lot and you're going to get better from it. That's how you grow. The reason why I'm sitting where I'm sitting and, and, and have the lifestyle that I have, and I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but I want you to understand I have the freedom that I have because I've, I've messed up so many times, right? So many times. I want every single person on this call to go ask Matt Werner how his first presentation was. Some of you, some of you have heard me tell this story, but go ask Matt Werner. Matt Werner is 20 years old. For those of you that don't know him, he's 20 years old. He's been with me since almost day one. He's my ride or die. Um, he, he's, he's the reason why a lot of this team is here today. And he's a stud. He's about to hit P5000. All right, he's 20 years old and about to hit platinum 5000. It's five grand a month residually, residually. I don't even know many 20 year olds making 5K a month, just normal. But he's 20 years old, about to be making 5K residual. And the reason why is because he's been okay with messing up. His, he did his first presentation in my 600 square foot apartment. He was showing two guys and I didn't even know the words that were coming out of his mouth. It didn't make any sense at all. I mean, it was so bad that I wanted to, I literally remember being on the couch. The two guys were sitting on the floor and he was kneeling on my coffee table or, or next to my coffee table and had the laptop up there and he's going through the slides and I'm sitting on the couch. And as he's going through the presentation, I'm sinking further and further into the couch. My hood goes up and I like pull my jawstrings tight because it was so bad. I wanted to just leave the room. Like I'll, I'll tell you guys this seven years in this industry, that was the worst presentation I've ever seen. And look where he is now though. He, he knew, he knew it was bad. And guess what? He kept doing it and it got, it was still bad, but it got a little better. And then he kept doing it and kept doing it and it got a little bit better. <clears throat> and then he kept doing it and kept doing it and it got good. And he kept doing it and kept doing it and it got great. And he kept doing it and kept doing it. And now you listen to that man do a presentation. It is amazing. It is amazing how that man captivates his audience when he's speaking to them. 
people listen to him because he knows how to communicate. He knows how to speak. He's so good at it. And to come from that to where he is now, it's because he spent time doing it over and over and over. So understand, guys, this all comes back to growth. It, it all comes back to you developing yourself into the person that deserves the amount of success that you want. What are you doing all day? Are you spending your time scrolling through Instagram or are you growing yourself? Are you spending your time looking at TikToks or are you growing yourself? Are you watching sports games or whatever you're doing or are you growing yourself? Understand there comes a time where obviously you don't, you know, you're going to have your freedom. You're going to have, you're going to hit the end zone. And guess what? Then you have more freedom to watch TikToks and go, go to sports games and do the stuff that you want to do, but get the thing done first. I mean, there, I had a, I had a mentor tell me, he said, flip the TV around, literally take your TV and face it to the wall until you make six figures. There's no reason. There's no reason that that TV should turn on until you make six figures. That's what he told me. And so I actually did it. Actually, I did more than that. I threw away the TV because I didn't even want the temptation in my house of, of having it. And so you guys got to understand that you know, it, it's going to take some sacrifice to grow into the person that you, that you need to be in order to hit your goals. I, that, I don't want that to, to scare you guys into dreaming smaller. Dream bigger. Whatever your goals are right now, I, I want you to write them down. And then I want you to crumple up that piece of paper and write a new one that's 10 times bigger. Write down what your goal is right now. If it's $100,000 a year, I want you to crumple it up and write down $100,000 a month, right? The only way, the only way that you have massive success in this world is by dreaming way bigger. Thinking small serves nobody. Thinking small does not retire your parents. Thinking small does not set you financially free. Thinking small does not help impact hundreds and thousands of lives. Thinking small does nothing for you, for me, or for anybody. So stop thinking small. Think big. Dream, really big dreams. And believe that you can actually do it. Believe that you can actually do it. Understand, all you have to do to get to $100,000 a month is become the person that deserves it. That's it. But it comes back to what I just said. How much time are you going to spend doing that? How much time are you going to spend growing yourself? Because I guarantee you, if you spend 10 minutes a day growing yourself and you spend three hours a day messing around, it's going to take you a very, very long time to get to $100,000 a month. I promise you, it, it'll take you a very long time. But guess what? What if, you, what if you spent an hour a day or two hours a day? or five hours a day. Some of you are like, oh, I don't have that much time. I promise you, if you kept a, if I kept a stopwatch, all right, if I followed you around, if I had a private investigator follow you around with a stopwatch and he clicked start every single time you were doing nothing or something that wasn't growing you or was unproductive. So, so work, the stopwatch would be off. All right, work the stopwatch would be off. Family, if you're with family, taking care of your family, making dinner, whatever that is, stopwatch would be off. But I'm talking about you're just chilling there. Stopwatch turns on. You're scrolling through TikTok for five minutes. Stopwatch turns on. Think about how much time we waste every single day. I bet you, all of us, it's an hour to two hours a day that we waste doing unproductive stuff, at least, right? At least. And so you guys got to realize if you just take that unproductive time and move it to growth time, you're going to collapse time frames. This is where this is where quantum leaps happen. People people heard the word quantum or the phrase quantum leap, where you see somebody go from nothing to amazing amazing success in what seems like overnight. And it's because they spent time growing themselves 10 times faster than somebody else. They were in the trenches 10 times more than somebody else. 
And that's where you see somebody literally collapse time frames and have a quantum leap in their business, right? There's people in this company that went, you know, P2000 to chairman 500 in a year. You're talking about 75 customers to 75,000 customers in one year. You know how that happens? You spend every waking second you have growing yourself, developing yourself with your team, building a team, talking to people. It's all you think about. I had a conversation with my leaders, um, you know, about a week ago, a week and a half ago. I said, look, if you want to make full-time income with this thing, you want to make six figures, you want to make six figures a month, then you got to put in the, the hours, right? Some people are putting in two hours a week, five hours a week, and you expect to make, you know, six figures. It's just never going to happen. Some of the most successful business owners in the world and entrepreneurs in the world were working their business a hundred hours a week. I read a funny quote. It was, you know, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs are the only people in the world that will work 80 hours a week to avoid working 40 hours for somebody else. <laughs> and it's the truth. Cause I would honestly do this. I would rather do this 16 hours a day than work for somebody else eight hours a day. That's just me. Cause it gives me freedom. If I don't want to work one day, I don't have to. And so I'll just wrap the call up with this guys. I'm not going to make this a long one because I think the message of this call was so powerful, but you got to understand that if you really want to get to the next level in life, you got to work on you. You know, somebody, somebody, everybody wants to do this. Everybody does. Everybody wants to join this company. I promise you. I know there's a few knuckleheads out there. I, okay, we'll say this. 95% of people want to join this company. There's that 5% that are just knuckleheads, trollers, haters, is what it is. But 95% actually think this is a great opportunity. The reason why they're not signing up, and this may sting a little bit, is not because of the company. It's because of you. It's because you're not the type of person that they want to follow. I want you guys to realize something. I said this to one of my leaders the other day. I said, I want all of you guys, all of you, this applies to all of you. If Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk took your phone from your pocket and called everybody in your context and said, hey, started with A, Alfred Anderson, how you doing? My name's Elon Musk. I started a, a trading education platform. It's going to cost you $200 to get started. Are you ready to get started? How many would say yes? Every single one of them. Every single person in your contacts would sign up with Elon Musk, would sign up with Jeff Bezos. Why? Because of who they are. So understand the person isn't signing up, isn't not signing up because of the company. They're not signing up because you haven't gotten to the level that of, of person that they want to follow. Working on you solves all problems. I promise you anytime I've had a slow point in my business or things weren't really going my way, I didn't blame it on anybody else. I just worked on myself more and not just turn on audios in, in the background and, you know, half-ass read some books. Like, oh, I read a couple pages, cool, whatever. I intently looked for information that I needed. I would look at my business and go, okay, where am I struggling? Where, where am I struggling? Where do I need to improve? And I would research audios on that. Okay, I, I noticed that I'm not communicating with people very well. Let me look at communication. I will Google, keep, you know, effective communication skills or a book on communication. Or, oh, I've noticed I've, I've signed up a lot of people, but none of them really do anything. Leadership. Let me watch some audios. Let me listen to some audios on leadership. Let me read some books on leadership. I've noticed that, you know, I know what to do, but, but I, just, I just don't do it every single day. Discipline. Read books on discipline, the compound effect, 
listen to audios on discipline. I'm telling you guys, if you can figure out where your weaknesses are and ask a leader, they'll tell you, say, hey, I want you to be honest with me because we don't want to hurt your feelings, right? It's not what we do. We just want to lead you in the right direction. But if you give us permission to be honest with you, we will be. Hey, I want you to be honest with me. Where are my weaknesses? What can I get better at? We'll tell you. We will tell you because we want to see you win. We want to see you win. So just understand this, guys. You got to work on you because God's timing is not a date. God's timing is who you are internally. And once you get to that point, the people are going to start following you. And God's going to place that blessing in your life because you became that person that you need to be in order to hit your goal. So I appreciate you guys hopping on here. We got a 9 p.m. overview. Super excited for that. Let's pack it out. And uh, super, super excited to help you guys get to the next level. So let me know if you need anything. I'll see you guys next week on Monday Night Thought. Let's get it. Peace.